under the open education resource creation activity again this is the second video from rc 1130 team 007 i am team member pradeep patil so in this video the it is extension of the digital multimeter that is the first video so first video is having the introduction of that electronic instruments now with the second video the learning objectives are to understand the need of the electronic instruments and for now it will be specific digital instruments and second objective is the block diagram of the digital multimeter and then the specifications of the multimeter so digital instruments are having the number of advantages as com compared with the analog instruments so very first advantage is the reading is indicated directly in decimal numbers so automatically there will be no observation error so specifically parallax error so parallax error is removed so automatically more accuracy is there with the digital instruments the resolution is also more as compared with the analog instruments so that is one tenth or one hundredth of hold can be measured the measurement is repeatedly carried out so it is something like seven to ten times the measurement is carried out in one minute the digital instrument requires small power and the output can be fed directly to the memory or to the computer this has the additional advantage so now to be specific with the digital instrument it is a digital multimeter that we are considering so multimeter normally is used to measure voltage current resistance so the same digital multimeter just like analog multimeter can be used to measure the dc voltage ac voltage current ac and dc of course and then the resistance measurement so in the last video we have considered the electronic measurement system block diagram so it is consisting of transducer then mostly amplifier that as a signal conditioning circuit and then it will be the instrument or the display or the meter so now with the digital measurement system it is of course analog as compared with so adc will be now coming in picture because the signal is converted into digital one so signal can be converted now into digital one with the help of adc analog to digital conversion so in the digital multimeter now the basic block is adc analog to digital conversion that is also called as a dc digital voltmeter dvm so for the adc or for the dvm the basic requirement is the dc voltage so we are applying their dc voltage as input for the adc and output will be indicated directly in meters so if we want to measure the dc voltage then that can be directly given to the adc of course transducer is there so transducer will convert that into electrical signal then that voltage form is considered and then that voltage input signal electrical signal is given as a input to the adc but suppose now we want to measure the ac voltage so we are having the input as a ac voltage there but the adc requirement is input requirement is dc voltage so which block is required that is given as a question mark so you have to think over that which block is needed for the ac voltage measurement in dmm to measure the current now the current as a input but the input requirement for adc is a dc voltage so that current must be converted into dc voltage then it can be displayed there as a current or the quantity current quantity so which block is necessary you have to think over that for the current measurement now similarly for the 
resistance measurement. So resistance as the input, resistance value as the input and input requirement for the ADC is DC voltage. So the resistance is to be converted into DC voltage, proportional DC voltage. So which block is necessary? You have to think over that. So combine all these blocks. So AC voltage is to be converted into DC voltage. Current is to be converted into DC voltage. Resistance is to be converted into DC voltage. So these blocks are combined with that ADC and of course with the final display or the meter. So this is what the block diagram of the ADC. So this uh, as this as an out of class activity, you have to think over that and in class you can draw that diagram and compare with your teacher. Now with the specification, the very first specification is the resolution. Of course accuracy is there but resolution. So with the resolution it will be uh, the digital display that is what it is provided as a DVM. So it will be three and half digit display is provided for the DMM or DVM or maybe two and half digit or maybe four and half digit display that is what it is provided. So with respect to that the resolution is given by 1 upon 10 raised to n, n that as a complete digit, full digit. So for example with the three and half digit display that means there will be four seven segment display units. So count will be each one will give the range as a 0 to 9 digit. So count will be 0 0 0 0 to 1999. So three and half digit display. So last three digits are giving you the 9 up to 999 and half digit that is giving only 0 and 1 reading or the digit. So the resolution for three and half digit display is 1 upon 10 raised to 3, 3 full digits. So it will be 0 0.001 hold. So we will solve the example in the class as an in-class activity over the resolution. Thank you.